Here she comes with the goods. Woo! Oh, the little snowman marshmallows. I love these mugs from Next as well. Yeah, they're so cute. I do love them. So guys, welcome back to a new video. It's an exciting day for us today because we're decorating my flat for Christmas. Woohoo! Woohoo! So guys, grab a hot drink, get your PJs on and get comfy because you're gonna love this one. Hopefully. We've got the log fire going in the background. Matching PJs are on. So today I went to Primark, it was so busy. And I did want to get us some Christmassy matching pyjamas, but they didn't have any. Literally all of the shelves so were empty annoying. in there. I feel like everyone's just buying pyjamas at the minute for yeah. Christmas. So we've already put the tree up just because that's the sort of faffy bit. So we thought there's no point filming that. But we will obviously show you decorating the tree and all of my nice baubles. And it is fake. Look how real it looks. It is actually such a nice tree. So yeah. we'll it's a you. new tree this year. So I'll link it below and obviously tell you guys a bit more about it in a bit we've got a lot to do um april's laid everything out on the table um all her christmas <laughs> decor and i'm not kidding you it feels like i'm sat in home sense right now she has got so much stuff i knew she'd have a lot but i wasn't expecting that Nor much was I. It, all. it wasn't until i got it all out that i realized i've got a bit of an obsession for christmas trees I and i was do. i was literally thinking you guys are going to comment saying well, you have got so many trees but yeah, we'll show you it all laid out so you can see what we're talking about. So guys, we hope you enjoy today's video and as always, let us know in the comments down below what your favourite room or your favourite item was. Cheers guys! Cheers! So we're going to start off with my sideboard here. We've already got a couple of ideas so we're just going to try them out and we might come back to it if it doesn't work. I've already put this pine garland up because I had to put some command hooks up and it was a bit of a faff so we did that off camera. The gold bells that Sid spotted. Sainsbury's. I can't believe they were from Sainsbury's. They look so expensive. And they were only how much? Like, I want to say like £9 pound or? Yeah, I, I reckon around a tenner I think they were. They um, look so expensive. Yeah, so absolutely love those. Um, so I definitely want my gold nutcracker here that we made in one of our recent videos. So yeah, I think that's perfect place for it. I mean, it will tie in with the brass on the gold bells over as well. There, I think a bit of gold here. Right, let me grab him. So I'm thinking him there, and then I want to try my wooden bowl with the vintage ornaments in that we made. So these were the ornaments that we also made in the same video as the nutcracker. And we've just made some cheap ornaments look really vintagey. Um, I bought these little bells from Amazon. So I'll link those below. I think they were about £10 for a pack. And then I've also got a mixture in here of the other bells that we upcycled. So I've got some of these saved with my baubles yeah. to put on my tree as well. So it was yeah, quite a big pack. I think it was only about a tenner. Um, and then I've just got these pine stems in here as well, just for a bit more green. And that bowl was from our Matalan video, so yeah. we've both got one of those from Matalan. Yeah. So I think we need a couple of trees or something at two different heights, maybe one with the candle and one on the sideboard. So we've got some taper candle holders from HomeSense that we thought would look nice here. And these and were also from HomeSense, weren't they? The yeah. Trees. Yeah. Yeah, so that <laughs> somebody's come to join us. Oh, sorry, baby, it. but we need to get on there. So I'm thinking to put one. Oh, not one on there. <laughs> to put one on the lower level and one in the flame, and then <laughs> one. I might need to poke them in a bit more. Maybe one down there. Yeah, I think they look quite cute there. What do you think? Yeah, I like the, yeah, I like the colours. It ties in with the book as well. More green. I did think about putting some navy ones in there to tie in with no. the navy on the tree. No, but I, I think like green. Them. I think green just goes, doesn't yeah. it? So, I think we'll leave 
that for now. Let us know what you guys think. We can always tweak stuff as we go along, can't we? Yeah, as well? we might pinch some bits for different places and move it around yeah. as we go. But no, I think that looks really good. Yeah. Right, let's Book go. Bookshelves? Yeah, do the bookshelves. Bookshelves next. So guys, we are just going to style the shelving unit. Um, we've kept a couple of normal bits and bobs on there just yeah. so it's not complete Christmas overload. Yeah. Um, Should we start top shelf and mark our way down? Yeah, so April just said to me she doesn't ever put anything on the top top shelf. No, what do you guys think? I don't know. I don't I know would. what it is. Whenever I put the stuff up there, it feels like I've dumped it on, like it's cluttered. I walk in the room and it just, to me, I don't know. Maybe you just put in stuff just that's can't. too high. Maybe you need stuff that's a bit lower. Maybe. I, I don't, don't know. know. Anyway, I think I'm going to start with my favourite bits that I know I definitely want on this. So, to start with, I've got these three trees. They're not a set, but they all just match. So, this one here was from a small boutique um, last year. It's ribbed and sort of like grey and brown. And then this one was from HomeSense this year, and it's brown with like a slight green undertone. And I can't remember where I got this one from, you know. I think it was last year or the year before. But bizarrely, they're all different heights, diff slightly different colours, but they all seem to go. Yeah, you'd think they were a set. You would, wouldn't they? Yeah, I like them. So I'm thinking this like brownie tone book would be nice because of the brown in that tree there. And guys, literally, you could get any old book. Like, it doesn't need yeah. to be... This was from a charity shop. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know who this person is, A Taste of the Country... But if you remove the plastic, the plastic, if you remove the paper sleeve and see what colours underneath, I wanted like a brownie, neutrally coloured book. It was something like 50p or a pound. It just so. creates different heights. Yeah. And makes things stand out a bit more, you doesn't don't it? Need it looks good. expensive coffee paper no. books. So, I mean, how good do I they look them. together and they yeah, weren't a set? So, Aww. really happy with. Those. I feel like you definitely need some gold on the shelves to yeah. tie in with the other um, side unit we've just styled. Yeah. And I love these. Gold these ranges? were from Sheen, weren't they? Yeah. Maybe put them... Maybe on that book. I think these would look quite nice on a book for some reason. Yeah, because they're quite minimal, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Like that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What about for up here? Maybe wood. I think wood. Yeah. Maybe a bit wooden. Yeah, no, it'll Because work. it's quite cold at the minute, isn't it? So, let's try these wooden houses from Sheen. Do you reckon the big one that side or? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I like them. They're quite minimal, aren't they? But they just give a bit of a wood tone. And then on the bottom, so those gold candle holders are nice. I love these. I definitely want to use these somewhere because these were from Sheen and I just absolutely love them. Do you think on the book? Yeah. Maybe the black, black and gold would look quite nice together. Here comes your little helper. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> what do you think? Are those down there? Oh yeah, they're nice. Yeah. I can't believe they were from Sheen. I think I they look so, so they do, expensive. They? And then, My favourite saying ever. Oh no, we do say it a lot. This snowman, I was just so, so chuffed to find him. He was last year from HomeSense and I've not seen one like him since anywhere in HomeSense. He came out, he's wooden and he did have a silver nose, but I painted the nose gold because you know what I'm like with gold. So... I really want to use him and I think because we've got wood there, maybe... Wood just adds warmth, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah? Yeah. I like that. Those oh, trees. show everyone your um your wooden oh. trees that you got from Sainsbury's. I don't know why, guys, but I find <laughs> these so funny. And you're not the only one, though. So the, these, uh, these Sainsbury's, <laughs> these trees was from Sainsbury's <laughs> last year. And I said to Sid before we started this video that I I like them. But Sid and Bobby both said the same thing. It's the top bit. I think maybe we've just got dirty minds. <laughs> but, but why aren't they pointy? Like, why are they rounded like that? Let us know, guys, if you if you find them funny or if we're just being really childish. <laughs> this is why I said to you, when we did our Sainsbury's video, so Sainsbury's this year have got the wooden trees again, but they are pointy, they're not rounded. 
Do you remember I wanted to get yeah. one and you were saying, no, no, you've already got some. Maybe they got a I few think, comments about them yeah, then. I think they've changed them because I think we're not the only ones that... Yeah, so maybe look like we a male's, um... Or, do you know what? I might see if I can sand them to make them a bit pointier. It's just but a lot of effort though, isn't it? I know, but it's a shame to waste them. I think we'll leave that like that for now. I love that this tree ties in with those vases. Yeah. Yeah. I love them vases. No, it's not. they were Amazon actually. Were they? I think I showed them in the Amazon video that we did. So yeah. no, I think that looks nice. We we'll leave that for now and move on to the rest of the lounge. I think. Yeah. We are getting there. It looks so cozy in here already. So next up, we're going to do the coffee table. Um, April has bought a reindeer bowl. I'll pass it. To pass you. It. Sorry, Uber. So. She actually makes me laugh. She has gone and bought blue sweets to put <laughs> in her coffee table so they Yay. match her theme. <laughs> Just typical, eh? Right, so that I think I'm going to put. Is it easier to take off the bowl and that ornament maybe so that you've got a yeah. blank canvas? Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Take those off. So I think the reindeer looks a little lost on the glass. So I'm going to him on there oh and then i think you've got height with that so i think you need something high on maybe put that in the middle and maybe have something high that side to match what about one of my light up trees because that's quite Ooh, cozy on the yeah. table then oh, and i like the green oh it looks it might show the it on the tree. camera where did you get these from? They were B&M, I think. I think oh, that's that one. I got the, that one. Um, my friend got me the silvery one last that's year. That's like a gold. It's, it's got like, like silvery silver gold. gold. So it's oh, up to they're you. they're really nice. Have you, has it got lights in it already? Or? Um, yeah. It yeah, it is lit up, but because it's really? bright in here, you can't tell. Oh. So I think maybe you have that there. Oh, that I like that. Cool? Can you still see the... Yeah, I really like that. Yay. Not too much. Yeah, I think with a coffee table, you don't want to overdo it, do you? And I always think everything in threes. I think um, yeah. Shane McGee said that. Everything, everything in threes. Everything in threes. Love so, it. Yeah, and it's not cluttered. You can still use the table. Try the, the candle on, on the book and swap the reindeer just so we can see what it looks like. But I think that's going to be too high because that's high. I don't know. Might work. Just to see. You might lose him though. Yeah, he is a bit lost. You can't see him now. Because he's small. Ooh, yeah. That smells nice. Does it? What was that? That was oh, Home Sense, I think. Cinnamon. Cool. So that is the coffee table. Yay. We've also got some oh, cushion yeah. covers, haven't we? So while we're here, we'll just we'll quickly well do those. Do those. So I think just take away the goldy one in the middle. Yeah. And I think all I'm going to do is just add in the, do you want to show it up close? From next, the navy cushion with the gold beading. What, just in the middle, yeah? Just in the middle, Got yeah. Aww. Yeah, I feel like you needed a bit of navy. I was thinking bit, where's all the navy? Where's all the navy? Are they going to have navy on the tree? Yeah. We've got some navy here. And then the other one just for the... You still have the tag off, so I think... Oh yeah, off. take it off. The other one just for that sofa there. Oh, I love them. Yay. Very nice. Love it. Oh, it looks so cozy. So, the only thing left to do in here is the tree. The best bit. The best bit. So, we will probably do the tree next and speed you guys up because it will probably take us quite a while. Oh, it looks so cozy with the fire. Oh, it does. This is my brand new tree. We had a bit of a disaster. I went to put up my old tree and realised it was broken. So I ended up quickly going to get one from Argos because I could do click and collect on the same day. So it was a bit of a panic buy, but I absolutely love it. It looks like a real tree. So it's got these um, tips. Let me try and zoom in. That look really realistic. They're like the real touch tips. Um, but the rest of the tree is your normal sort of plasticky um, type branch. But it really does look real because it's got that really sort of uneven shape, doesn't it? So I'll insert an image to show you the product code um, from Argos. And I'll also link it below just in case you guys 
are looking for a new tree. I got the goods. Yay. So I'm going for a navy and gold theme this year. If you're a regular watcher, you probably already know that. Let's get going. What I like to do actually first is I like to place the bigger, nicer ones first yeah, right. and then the smaller ones I kind of, you call them fillers, don't you, to yeah. fill the gaps. So we're going with the bigger ones first. I just want to show you guys a trick that Sid tagged me in on Instagram as well and I can't believe we've gone all these years not knowing. So you know when you hang a ball ball and it sort of just dangles down and it doesn't sit, yeah, where you want it to sit? You probably all know this, maybe we've just been living on another planet. But if you spin it round like that, it sits on the branch. It's actually a game changer, isn't it? It is. So guys, if you haven't already done this on your tree, this is your sign to go and turn around your ball balls. <laughs> go and twist your twist balls. Your balls. <laughs> twist your balls. Twist your balls. So yeah, how much better it does so that look? so much better. Yeah, especially if they're heavy. Yeah. So Clever. there's a little And you know when they're like hanging really low at the bottom, when yeah. they look like yeah. they're too low, yeah. it's really good for the bottom ones. Just twist it round. Twist it round a few times. How did I never know that? So. Right. I'll pass you some of the bigger ones. Yeah. We're going to speed this bit up, yeah. guys, but we will show you a close up at the end. expected to put these little brown baubles on but I think it looks really nice with the blue and gold so we thought why not it just adds a bit of extra something doesn't it so I'll pan you in closer and just show you some of the baubles in more detail I did end up finding these blue ones in B&M these glass blue ones so I've got a couple of different styles but I think they're perfect they're not quite as dark as I wanted but I think if they were much darker, you wouldn't have seen them yeah, as well. Yeah, against the green. Yeah, so, yeah, really, really happy with it. So, guys, on to the kitchen. We've already had a play around with the shelves because it was just taking us so long to keep taking stuff off and putting it back on. So, we thought we'd just style it and then show you what we've done. So, we've put my gingerbread mugs and cookie jar from Next up there. In the middle, we've got the gingerbread house from Home Sense that I absolutely love. That light up gingerbread house there I got last year. I can link that below if they still have it. I think that was, where was that from? It was somewhere like JD Williams. I might be wrong, but I'll link it below. And then we've just put some red berries in a little vase that I got from Sheen last year, just to add a little bit more red. Um, and I'm really, really happy with how it looks. And then over there where I've got my tea, coffee, sugar, I've just added my little gold light up tree. Um, and I just think it looks really magical because this is the first thing you see when you walk in the kitchen. So you've got the light up house and then the little light up tree in the corner. I absolutely love that light up house. It's it nice, so nice. Isn't it? yeah. I don't think it was cheap. I think it was like 40, 50 quid. But oh, again, it's something you've got forever. You can either put batteries in it or it comes with a power cord. So since I've got it up on the shelf, I've just put some batteries in it. So yeah, really, really happy with it. And then lastly, I forgot to mention, I've just got my gingerbread soap dispenser that I also got from Next. So it matches the cookie jar and the little mugs. So next, we're gonna just style the shelves I've got on this side of the kitchen. So we will spin you around and show you what we've put up there. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, I think Jet is trying to get a bonus dinner out of me by sitting on top of his food box, but I just leave him there chilling. So um, on to these shelves. I wanted this to be a little bit more fun and sort of like traditional. So I've got my 
chef santa up there that i got from the range last year and then the mr and mrs claus there i got from b m this year and the little um jars are from primark they were this year as well and then that little tree up there is from ikea um, and I've just placed it in a little basket that I had because it was in a black pot and the black looked a little bit too harsh. So I think I'm happy with that. Um, I really like that I've just sort of got a few subtle pops of red and it's just a bit more traditional, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. looks nice, yeah. So where to next, hallway? Guys, I completely forgot to show you my little hot chocolate coffee station. So nothing special really. Um, I've just got some snowmen marshmallows from B&M in a Christmas tree jar. Um, I've put that on top of my star dish that I got from Sainsbury's because I really, really wanted to use it this year, but I just couldn't find anywhere that I wanted to put it. So I'm not absolutely in love with it there, but at least it uses it. Um, and then the little Santa and Mrs. Claus, they are actually salt and pepper shakers. So I found them in a little antique shop and just absolutely loved how old and sort of vintage they look. They look like they're hand painted. Um, I did have a look online afterwards to see if I could find them anywhere to find out like what they are kind of thing. Um, and I did actually find some on Etsy. So I'll link them below just in case you like them. So I'm thinking to just put some chocolate powder in one and some cinnamon sugar maybe in the other one. A bit like I did with the pumpkin ones that I had. Um, and then at the back, I've got some mini gingerbread cookies that I also got from B&M. So I'll show you in a second. I've got a spare packet of the cookies and the snowmen marshmallows. So I'll show you what they look like, just so if you go to B&M, you can find them. Um, and then I've just got my bottle of syrup. I do need to swap that out for my gingerbread syrup and put the label on. And then the welcome to the hot chocolate bar I got last year. Um, so if I can find where that was from, I'll also link that below. So yeah, nothing special, but I do just like to change it up a bit each season. So here is the hallway. I have been playing around with this, guys, for absolutely ages, and I just couldn't make my mind up on what I wanted to do with it. But I'm finally really, really happy with it, so I thought I'd just show you it done. So I've got some gold bells that I actually picked up when I went to Ireland in a little decor shop. But I think you can get them on Amazon, so I'll try and link some below. And then the gold reindeer was from HomeSense. Now, Sid actually bought this, but because obviously she's not moved into her flat yet, she did let me use it for this year. And I absolutely love it. And then I've just got my normal lamp and fake orchid on here as well that I normally have all year round and then on the bottom shelf we've got our giant baubles which we upcycled which you can see in one of our recent videos we will link it below uh, we've just put them in a wicker basket and added a green blanket so they sit on top nicely and they stand out um, and we just added some ribbon so we've got a green ribbon and a brown ribbon on those and then by the side of that, we've just added two Christmas trees, which are from Primark last year. Uh, but they do have similar ones in there as well this year. I did have an orangey Louis Vuitton book here, but I took it away because I thought that it just clashed a bit too much. So, yeah. So I'm absolutely over the moon with how this looks, guys. Let me know what you think. And we will go on to the bedroom next. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just, at the end of the video, if I've tweaked anything, um, I'll show you and I'll just do sort of a pan of every little section in the flat at the very end. So, on to the bedroom. I've not done too much in here, so I've already styled it. Um, the showstopper piece in here is definitely this print that I've got above the bed. So this frame is already here year round with a neutral print in it. So I bought a file off Etsy and just got it printed into a poster the size of the frame. So I'll link the Etsy shop and the printing company down below, but I just absolutely love it. It's really neutral as well, so it doesn't matter if I want to change the theme up and go a bit more neutral one year because you've only got a tiny, tiny bit of red in there and it's not very bright. So love that. 
Um, I've then got these cushion covers from Sheen. So if you haven't seen our Sheen Christmas haul, I'll link that below. They're fully embroidered and they were something like a fiver. Um, so we were really, really chuffed with those. And then I've got my little Santa from the range in his dressing gown and pyjamas. And he's got a hot chocolate and some cookies. So I just thought that was perfect and really cosy for the bedroom. And then I've got, just to add a little extra bit of red in here, I've just put these berries, red berries, in this little vase. And I think that is pretty much all I'm going to do in here. I've got a candle burning on the other side, a nice pine scented candle. So it just feels all cosy in here and I can't wait to get in bed tonight. Now that we've cleared the table, I've also just quickly added some frosted eucalyptus to my vase on the dining table. Um, I did actually order some plain pine stems from Sheen, but the package has got completely lost, which I'm gutted about. So I've got to request a refund, which is annoying. But I did have these from last year, so they will do for now. Um, they still look really nice. So just a little, little bit of Christmas on the dining table. So the only thing I've really changed is on these shelves. So I had some frosted eucalyptus garlands, so I've just added one to the back. Um, I do think it looks better, it doesn't look as plain. And then I also had this gingerbread bakery sign that I completely forgot that I had. Um, so I added that and just took away the book because I think it does look better without it. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think it looks better now or how it did? here is the finished tree um i did actually find some little baubles that i'd forgotten about so i'll just show you those now so you can see the tiny little blue ones with the bronze top so they're sort of a crackled glass so i had a pack of those and then very similar but from a different website i had some bronzy um sort of bronzy brown toned mini glass ones as well so i added those and then, like I said, the blue ones, the big blue glass ones, were from B&M in the end. And I do really, really like them. So I've kind of got a mix of gold, brass, browns, and like the bronzy tones. And I really, really like it. I think it just looks really elegant. I've got a couple of clear glass ones as well with a bronze top. All in all, I'm really happy with how it turned out and it's so, so different to anything I've done before. So what do you guys think? So guys, we're gonna show you everything finished now. We know you might have already decorated for Christmas this year, but hopefully this video gives you a bit of inspiration maybe for next year. Um, let us know what you liked in the comments or what your favorite area was. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you very soon in the next one.
Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you can delete that. <laughs> So guys, we hope you enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing my own world. <laughs>